today's Legal on 4, planning for your pets if something happens to you. Our pets are like family members, whether it's a dog, a cat, horse, snake, even a parrot. You need to think about what happens to them if you are not around. Craig Wisnum, our legal contributor, joins us now. And really, we need to plan not only if we're going to die, but if we become incapacitated. That's something a lot of people might not think of, but if you have an animal, especially one that might require special care and expense, when you set up your power of attorney that gives someone the authority to take care of you if you become incapacitated, you may want to mention that in there so they legally can still pay expenses for that pet out of your property. Yeah, you're absolutely right. People just do not think about that. And that's just for inca if you become incapacitated. Right. And if you die, for sure you have to make arrangements. Absolutely. Now, people tend to think about that a lot more. And if they've got a pet that's very special to them, there are lots of different options that they can provide for. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes they may not mention them at all in their will or their trust because whoever they've put in charge is going to just have to figure that out when the time comes. And so they may just leave it up to that person to find a good home for the animal. Okay, and, and what if, what if you, you leave no plan whatsoever? What, well, ha what happens to the pet? Then, I mean, somebody's going to have to be in charge of your estate. And, you know, if, if you have family, it's probably someone that there who's going to figure it out. But you're not going to be able to say who you want them to take care of. And you'd probably have to, in your will, say how much you wanted given to the, right. to the care of the pet. Now, one, you know, probably the simplest thing you can do to address this other than nothing is to say, you know, I want to leave my pet, my dog, Stella, to my, you know, my brother, Joe. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just give who you want to be the caregiver for that animal. Um, you can also then, depending on the situation, mm -hmm. leave them some money. You know, not a huge amount, but enough you say, I know it's going to cost something to take this dog to the vet to feed them and take care of them, and I want to make it easier on you, so I'll leave you $1,000 or $5,000. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the basic ways people might provide for this without it getting too complicated or leaving all their money to the animal. Yeah, and what about leaving a gift for animal organizations? There's certainly some of them that have special arrangement set up. Uh, the Humane Society, for instance, has what they call the Guardian Angel Program, where you can leave them a certain amount of money, mm -hmm. and actually based on the amount you leave for them, they'll make sure they not only find a home for that pet, but they may be able to supervise and check in with them and provide medication and things like that. So for people that don't have any individual that they think is a good choice to take over, they may want to look at that type of arrangement. Especially you have some people that may be already leaving some of their money to that type of a group. Exactly. What about setting up a, an actual trust for that animal? That's kind Is that of ridiculous? Not necessarily. It's definitely the most extravagant, complicated, and generally you only do this if you're leaving a significant amount of money. But for, for some people, this is a very important issue. Uh, not only might you have an animal with special medical needs, some people might have three or four of those type right. of animals, and they may not have, you know, other places they're leaving that money, so they want to make sure that enough money set aside legally for someone to take care of those and be bound to do that. Um, another example, you know, sometimes people a have animals that are very high maintenance, birds that can live a long time, mm -hmm. horses, which mm -hmm. of course take a tremendous amount to feed mm -hmm. and lodge mm -hmm. and those type of things. So it depends on how close they are, how much money they have, where they want their money to go, but Arizona law specifically provides that you can leave money in a trust for a pet as long as it doesn't go beyond the lifespan of pets that are alive at the time you die. All right. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. Thanks. 80